Hi everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Thor Sequence 20L motorhome B-Van behind me. Uh, but first, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, make sure to check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. Uh, we've got things like instructional videos. We do this thing called Byerly RV University once a month. We put those classes up there. Um, we also have fun videos and just all kinds of great stuff, other product videos, of course. And then you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, and now TikTok. Check out some of our new TikTok videos. We're working on that. Depending on if you're watching this right now, there's not a lot up. A year from now, hopefully there's a whole lot up. But anyway, let's talk about the Sequence 20L. Now the 20L, you guys, this is an awesome floor plan. Um, we'll do the outside first, then the inside. You know, it is a B-Van, of course, which means Metal sides, just like they came out of the Ram Promaster factory. This is a Ram Promaster chassis, but like the paint, you know, it co usually costs a lot of money to get full paint on a motorhome. Well, you don't have a choice. This one comes with full paint because that's how it came to these guys from Ram. So let's talk chassis first, you guys. Like I said, this is the Ram Promaster chassis. So we have a front wheel drive V6, regular on leg gas. It's a regular van. It's, I, I say that because Things like, we talk about things like cost of use over the course of years, right? Well, front wheel drive vehicles were created because of the efficiency of having all the drivetrain up front and theoretically costing less over the course of its life. And so this has that. And the other bonus, if you think about it for a motorhome or any camper for that matter, what do we do underneath? We put things like tanks underneath and we use that area. Well, since there's no drive shaft and rear axle, there's more area to use. I feel like there's more distance almost between the floor and the ceiling in this because I think they can go lower. I don't know. That's just, it just some, seems that way a little bit. But um, other things, you know, you've got like the tires. They're just regular tires, you guys. This is a standard 16 inch wheel with a regular tire on it. I say that because regular oil changes, regular tires, regular unleaded. It's just like having an extra vehicle, you know? And the cool thing about the sequence is this still, you know, can go up against some of the nicest SUVs nowadays as far as cost wise goes, okay? Um, these are a little more, we have the scope, we have the dazzle. You can check out those videos. Those are a little bit smaller and a little bit less expensive. Um, the sequence has been around uh, Byerly for a while. We run these in our rental fleet. Um, and I tell you what, when you take and run a vehicle in your rental fleet and you give it to somebody who's never used a motorhome over and over and over again, and at the end of the year, it still looks good and you can turn around and resell it, you know, that says a lot for the product. And uh, we've been doing that for years now. I've taken a lot of trips in the sequence. Love this thing. Um, lots of great features. You know, outside we've got this awesome screen door, which I think is really cool. Uh, above that is the awning. This is the Thule awning, guys. We're gonna put a link right here to the video on how to use that awning, okay? Um, as we move along here, I do see uh, outlets right here and a quick disconnect down here so that I can plug in things out here. Maybe I have a table right here. I can plug in a grill and utilize the LP system on board. There's a bike rack here, you guys. We'll do a video on the bike rack. Uh, we do give you training when you come to pick up anything at Byerly RV, so we don't just turn you loose, so we would show you how to use it. Um, but we actually need to do really a whole video on that. Now, back here, guys, this is the bathroom. And, you know, we're going to do this a little out of order because normally I cover the bathroom when we're inside, but we're going to cover it while we're out here because it's a lot easier to see out here. Uh, to start with, this is where we keep our outside ladder. I'm going to put a link to how to use this ladder right here, you guys. We did a video on that, too. Very, very cool. Uh, so check that out. And then down here, I actually have access to the water system for a hose. There's a little coil hose right here that I can connect to the water. I've actually got a water pump switch right here in case I didn't turn it on inside, I could turn it on from right here. I could turn on a light from out here. You know, the idea with these B-Vans, you guys, is we're in or outside as much as inside while we're using it, you know? Um, some of the, one of the really cool things about the sequence is this thing has regular holding tanks like most campers. In other words, it's got a fresh tank for fresh water. It's got a gray tank for your soapy water from your shower and your sink up there. And then it's got a black tank for waste strictly from the commode. Okay, we've got a nice foot flush toilet. This thing even has, I noticed this earlier, watch this. It's got a soft closed lid. Um, it has a shower miser. We'll need to do a video on that, but this really, really helps you conserve your water. So you've got an upgraded nice shower head up there, okay, guys? And that's nice when you're in a small shower like this. this is, by the way, we call this a wet bath, okay? Because yes, my commode is in here, and this is also the shower. I like to call it a self-cleaning bathroom, right? Now, if we wanted to utilize a sink, we've actually got that right here. Bingo, and my mirror's right above. That's actually a medicine cabinet that I can put things in. And the other thing that's back here in the bathroom is quite a bit of storage. I don't know if you'll be able to get in there and see that, but there you go. Yeah, hanging storage right there. And then these two just very, very large drawers. And 
when you're showering, you're probably saying to yourself, well, yeah, but that's the shower, right? Well, that's okay because this curtain here, you wanna do this and this will go all the way around here. And that way it's isolating the water inside there and doesn't let it come out here, right? Now we're gonna isolate that curtain in here before it goes crazy. Always grab hold of, close this by holding this, trust me. After he hits you in the back of the head a couple times and you'll be like me. No, but anyway, might have done that once or twice. This is nice. Again, you know, this is like what most RVs are like where we have our black tank and our gray tank. They both empty right here. The handles are right there. It even has a black tank flush out, guys. You know, the black tank from the commode, we use special RV toilet paper and things like that and um, helps it break up and empty, but uh, you really need a black tank flush out to really, you can imagine how challenging it can be over the years to keep that clean. I really like this light right here. So this is awesome. I mean, when you need to do this at night, um, maybe you've pulled in, you need to get hooked up at night or whatever the case may be. It is so nice to have that light. Uh, this is the business side of the vehicle, right? So we've got our exhaust here for our Truma system. This is like hydronic heating and uh, kind of, and um, also our hot water, city fill, fresh tank fill. There's even a spot right here for a sewer hose. So many of these little B-Vans don't give you a designated spot for that. Everything is very well labeled, you know? You can tell it's not their first rodeo, guys. Thor Motor Coach builds more motorhomes than anybody else across all their lines. So um, you see it in products like this. We've got a cable TV inlet here. We've got power here with an indicator light right here on the lid. So when I plug in, I can see that I'm getting power here. Helps me to determine if I'm having an issue where it might be. And then this is actually a port for an additional outside solar panel. We do have a solar panel on the roof, okay? Now, let's go take a look at the inside of this 20L sequence. Okay, you guys, the 20L, this was the first sequence floor plan they came out with. So these have been out for a few years now. It's a great floor plan. I think you'll see why as we go through this. We'll start right here by the door. Oh, by the way, there's just custom shades and stuff. These. Uh, curtains that go in here to create your privacy. It's pretty cool. There's nice pull down shades in other areas. Um, just mention that while I see it there. This is a tablet controlled motorhome. So my tablet on the wall right here has things like my tank, uh, how full my tanks are. I can access a screen uh, that controls my lighting. Okay. Lighting is dimmable, which is really cool. And uh, well, we won't mess too much because I'll get it dimmed and won't be able to undim. But it is nice to be able to dim your ceiling lights, you guys. I really, you know, this is, these B vans are really set up with their screen doors and the way that everything's open up. You're, you're outside as much as inside. And when it's dark outside and there's a campfire going, you know, and you come in here and there's just one bright LED will be enough to ruin your night vision and stuff. So by being able to dim these things down super low uh, is absolutely awesome. Um, that's just one of those things, you know, like I keep saying about how these guys, you know, these guys, build a lot of motorhomes and they put what they've learned into these things. And, and you see it really all over the place. This screen lets me do things like open and turn on fans. I can control my climate control from here. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, as we uh, uh, go through this thing. And then there's also just the other screens in here. Oops, there we go. My awning control is right there. And again, if we, you watch the awning video for that. Uh, and then a bigger tank monitor panel. Um, over here, now the this has got the lithium, it's got a dual lithium battery system with a 3000 watt inverter on board and not a generator. So no generator, we have a 3000 watt inverter, which is big enough to run the air conditioner. We have dual lithium ion batteries and we have a special, they call it an under the hood generator. It's a special type of alternator. So as long as I'm running the engine, I can run my roof air without having to use a generator. It's pretty cool, you guys. And this is going to be things like you can see here, I've got 97% left on this bank of batteries. This here tells me I'm inverting. Um, and it really, this is, we'll go over all this with you, of course, when you pick something like this up, all this type of thing, it can almost have videos in itself, you know? This does tell me um, negative 10 amps, that's cool. I think I'm putting in more through solar than probably than I am taking out. Um, the screen next to that, the Truma Combi, okay? The Truma Combi is a combination water heater slash furnace, essentially. Um, the Truma Combi is, and it's one device, it's controlled from here. Uh, what we do is we heat up, I think it's a 2.7 gallons of water or something. It's this little water jacket that goes around. Well, if we blow air through the middle of it, it heats the air and we blow the, that air out of the vents in here and that's how we get our heat. Or we can run the water 
line runs through there and gives you essentially unlimited hot water. You tell it you're gonna take a shower, you let it get really hot, and then you get in there and it's the 2.7 gallons gets super hot and it reheats quickly and it's enough for a shower. Um, we saw the shower, so it's not like you're gonna be spending a ton of time in there anyway, right? <laughs> but it will give you enough to get it done. Um, very, very efficient system. I love the way the Truma Combi system heats the camper. Um, I've used one of these in December. Uh, we went down to Silver Dollar City and Branson and stuff. And it's like between the solar panel on the roof and how efficient the Truma Combi is, because it uses propane to heat that, that water in there. But once it's hot, it's hot and it just stays hot. And it, I, it was just nice because I felt like I didn't use a whole lot of propane to heat this thing for multiple days because of the way that thing worked. So um, definitely a cool thing. Now, uh, the kitchen, and again, this is something, guys, we're in a 20-foot van, so Mike and I are trying to maneuver in here to give you guys the best view we can. Uh, this is a convection microwave in the sequence. So as you go up in line, where you go like dazzle, scope, sequence, the sequence, I know that like, for example, the dazzle has a regular microwave. Okay, so the sequence gets, it's a little bit more expensive, and now it gets a convection microwave. Guys, I've baked potatoes in my convection microwave in my camper, love it, it works. Um, nice little two burner stove right here. We've got, this is real solid surface in this guy, it's very nice, uh, and a recessed stainless steel sink. Um, the storage, this cabinetry is very nice. This is, um, oh, uh, I can't remember what they call this stuff, but um, it's, it's a foam core laminate. There you go. So this is like, if you, it's like the hull of a boat where you take the hull of a boat and you cut it up into little pieces and every piece floats. That's like what this is made out of, okay? And what it does is it lets us be able to carry more because our cabinets don't weigh as much essentially. Um, and they're very attractive. Uh, Fridge below that, and then I've got, you know, storage here, here, you know, here, and then of course a lot of us like to bring our pets, right? Okay, very cool. Comes with these nice mats now too, you guys, just real quick before I forget, I got a mat there, and it's got the mat up there on the floor around the driver's seat and everything. And now that we've got Mike turned around, let's go ahead and cover, you know, again, it's a Ram Promaster, so one nice thing about this is the familiar, familiarity of where everything is located, like just like in your car and stuff. And again, Ram, it's easy to find places to have it worked on. Now I wanted to show you guys this. This seat here swivels around and then there's actually this cool little table right here that comes out for this person, okay? And then there's also tables in between, I'm gonna put that away here. And then there's gonna be a Tables back here, a table back here as well. There's a pedestal right here. Underneath here, I've got a table. So that way, two people could sit here and have dinner. A third person could sit there uh, if they wanted to. This is actually, I tell you what, during COVID and everything, um, the restaurants, they wouldn't, they weren't open inside, but you could do carry out. And we have these things in rental. So literally, I would take one of these motorhomes and we would go to the restaurant and we, they'd walk the food out and we would literally eat it right there. We just brought our dining room with us. It was really kind of kind of cool. Anyway, nice little fridge here too. I don't think I touched on that. Just a nice little fridge, got a little freezer, little freezer spot there. This is what we expect in a, in a camper this size, you know. Uh, up here is just, we have some HDMI, an HDMI plug, USB, connection to the antenna on the roof, you guys. So um, there is an antenna to watch regular TV. And then if I wanted to plug something into that HDMI to watch over the TV, I could do that. Um, while I'm thinking about what's on the roof, uh, there's a 190 watt solar panel up there. Again, dual lithium batteries and a 3000 watt inverter guys, um, which is just huge. Uh, <laughs> so the, uh, this is that access to the bathroom. There, how cool is that? This is a super awesome bathroom in a B van. I really think it's the best B van bathroom I've ever seen. I've actually used this and I have showered in this and it, it works, I mean, it's awesome. Um, the way you see it configured right now, we've got two, obviously, two benches, right? Um, there's these special angled cushions, which are nice, so like I could take and, okay, if it was, if we were gonna eat, I'd maybe take these, I'd move it over here so we could sit across from each other, you know, no problem. And then if I wanted to, uh, I could sleep separately here, these incline, like that, okay? And then, uh, there's little brackets right here that come out, okay? And then these cushions here have a hard back. And I would basically just bring these two brackets out, fill this in, and what I get here then is one big bed. Uh, so this, guys, this is a super awesome floor plan. Again, I've had the chance to use it personally a few times. Absolutely love it. It dries great. You can 
For two people, it's awesome. It's like perfect. But if you've got a group of people, this is the type of vehicle that isn't just used for camping. You know, if I'm gonna take and I'm gonna go to Six Flags with a bunch of kids or something like that, or in another couple and their kids, we could all ride in this in comfort with the air conditioner going in the middle of summer, you know? And so, you know, maybe you've got kids that play ball or something like that. How nice would it be after the game to go out and you have a nice air conditioned spot to already be in, you know what I mean? Just that type of thing. I got a lot of people, uh, we sponsor a uh, mountain bike series, you know? I joke with those guys. I'm like, how would it be nice to just, you get done with the race and then you get to shower before you hit the podium, right? <laughs> but for real, these things, you know, that one nice thing about a small motorhome like this, You'll use it more than say a trailer. A lot of people can keep these things at home. It's 20 feet long, it fits in a driveway, it fits in a parking spot. You know, I always wanted to go somewhere that has really, really, really expensive like hotel rooms, like go to like Times Square and just park this thing and feed the meter for 24 hours <laughs> in camp. Anyway, thought that'd be kind of funny. Anyway, guys, listen, uh, this is the Thor Sequence 20L. You can check out our other videos on the 20K and the 20, uh, what's the other one? A? 20A, 20K, and 20L. So once this video is up, all three of those should be available. Check it out. You can check out more at www.buyerlyrv.com and you can see our current stocking level, current pricing and everything is on there. Um, if you watched this long, please subscribe, hit the bell icon. You'll be notified when we put up new videos like this. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.